Hello, is anyone there? Squad, if you're in the building right now, I want you to go ahead and put those aliens in the chat. And we about to get started in just a few minutes. Hey, Michelle, girl. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just won't let me be great. Who are you, Michelle? You just, you get me every time, girl. You ain't gonna miss nothing, did you? Shoot. Get ready, because you about to be an at -L -E -L -E -L. Get ready, get ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Who's ready? <laughs> What's up, squad? What's up, squad? Come on. Oh, I'm blurry. Oh, ooh, no. ooh. Ooh, I'm blurry. Hold on, hold on. I'm echoing in the back and stuff. Hold on. Am I, why am I so, why am I so, oh, okay. Let me, do I back up? Do I come up? What I got to do? Anywho, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Let me try to autofocus myself. Let me. Okay, that's better. That is better. We ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, shout out to my squad in the building. Shout out to the people who was in here early. Rocking with me. Rocking with me. I appreciate you. You see these green people in the building. These green people. Shout out to Paul Green, member for nine months. Uh, all the people in green, those are the channel sponsors, okay? They contribute to the channel success, and I appreciate each and every one of them, and they also get special emojis and things and things. Also, shout out to my Patreon members. They are in there, too. Some of them are green. Some of them are not. Some of them are chilling. Uh, also, shout out to Facebook, because we stream simultaneously. I asked a why earlier, y'all. We stream simultaneously on Facebook and YouTube, okay? So, shout out to my Facebooks in the building. Hey, Facebook. Hey, Facebook. What's the tea? I see you. I love you. I love you. And I love you. Yes, always Patreon hold me down, honey. Y'all ain't go. Y'all bet not ever say nothing about my patrons over on Patreon. And if you ever want to, to, to really know what be going down in these streets, that's where y'all need to be. But y'all cheap now. Y'all don't want to pay that $5 and $10 and $25 and all that stuff to be over there. But I digress. Y'all see these people behind me? Y'all see these people behind me? These are who we will be speaking about today. And I would be remiss if I did not say, you know, I see y'all strolling in here slowly, slowly, slowly. But as y'all stroll in, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and click in the like button because sometimes YouTube, they be tripping. They don't want to, they don't want to show your girl to the masses. Okay. So go ahead and like the video as you like the video with more people in here so we can be with the shits and we can read and drag and have us a good time in the chat. Okay. Like, 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 share, 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 subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I'm beating on the table and my dog coming over here. But y'all know what I mean. Y'all know the spiel. Okay. You said you tired of Andy. Hey, Maya, you already done. Thank you so much, Side Eye. You is tired of Andy. What is Andy doing? I'm so glad to be on. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to have some good, a good old time tonight, honey, because I got a special, special co host. Honey. Listen, uh, should my co host come now? He could come now. Come on, co host. Hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me try. Who is it? Nene Leaks. Nene Leaks. Who is it? Nene Leaks. Is it Nene? Yes. No, it's not. Is it Apollo? Peter. It's Peter. No, it ain't. It ain't Peter. Peter ain't got time to be over here. It's, who is it? It's Croy Bielman. It's who? Croy. Croy. <laughs> it's Croy. Country ass Croy. Oh. I got my gun. <laughs> I got my gun. <laughs> It's my friend. Y'all remember him? Y'all remember Justin Superstar, huh? <sighs> Justin Superstar that kept me hostage. All day. 
all day long. Okay. Well, we got a lot of stuff done. He wouldn't even leave. When I told him I had to go lie, he would not leave. He was like, yeah. I'm coming and I'm going to co-host. And I was like, okay, come on, go host. You can come co host. You want to co host, okay? So. And you know, since he be sitting behind me, I had to lower my seat. You know, I'm yes. usually up here. So I had to lower my seat so we could both be on the same level. Cause you know, people be saying Michelle make Josh sit beneath her. <laughs> oh, behind her. Okay, Michelle make Josh sit on lower than she do. So I was like, well, listen, I don't have co-hosts. So we be pulling up anything to sit down in. And it just so happens that the chair, the office chair, is higher than every other chair. So anywho, hey. We're gonna have to get two uh office chairs oh we do okay yeah what, what we need to do is get a more you know this desk was different we need a bigger desk a long so we could be yeah. let's get a table like the view like the view mm -hmm. and we can have like a little yeah Around see we, we up here doing all kind of stuff Josh, we've been sitting here talking all kind of shit. josh how tall is you people want to know how tall i'm six one six one mm -hmm. oh okay i'm five seven but i look taller than you do right that's because you got a chair i'm sitting on <laughs> hilarious okay 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 who are we talking about first you see these people behind I me mean, so you talk about what you know first okay and i'm gonna, gonna take my misinformation at the end okay the views and opinions expressed by joshua just a superstar does not reflect the views and opinions of michelle atl and brown or straight from the a we gotta issue this disclaimer beforehand because you already know josh go act up and i'm be kicking him under the table <laughs> So you go ahead and do yours in case you have to cut my bit out. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Let me change my. I forgot to change my background. Which background should we have since you sitting here? Should we be in a mansion or something? What should we? Do? I think we should be um in a mansion. Oh, what kind of mansion? This one. Let's go to the um. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, one. that's the wrong one. Hold on, I'm on the wrong screen. Hold on, we got to get in the mansion first. You know, we got to be extra. Mm -hmm. This one right here. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Who live in this house? Not me. I don't live here either. Okay. Anywho, so we're gonna be here. We we in the Lanifia. We in um Nini's house. We're oh, in her yeah. house. You know, it's for sale. It's and I was gonna sale. buy. I had put a bed on it. And so you know that it's for sale now. Y'all go and listen. Y'all gonna tour it. If y'all gonna tour it, you need to put an offer on it. Don't be in there acting all looky loo going mm -hmm. in there because that's Reality Stars house. It is on the market. So speaking of Nene Leaks, Nene Leaks has returned to YouTube. Shout out to my new member. Okay, Sakita. Thank you, Sakita. Uh, Nene Leaks has returned to YouTube. The house is a little blurry. See, it's blurry because, you know, that's the illusion, you know, because we in front of the camera. You know, it's the illusion. Okay. You know, she has returned to YouTube and she decided to shade <laughs> Coach, yes. Coach Storm. That's the best way to enter. That's the best way to enter. I'm back with shade. Oh, can we? We're going to take a, a, a trip down Shady Lane, okay? And we are going to watch Lanithia Monique Leaks uh, return to the the YouTube streets mm -hmm. on October 20th and how she decided to shade someone. Hold on. I'm going to play a little bit. I might play a lot of bit. This is my friend. She ain't going to copyright me. She might copyright y'all, but she ain't going to copyright me. Hold on. We're going to see what um, the Lanithia is talking about over here. And I'm going to tell you where the shade is. I'm going to tell you where the shade is in just a second. Where it is. Okay. October 20th. Shell, shell. Boom. Okay. There she is. Okay. Looking good, Lanithia. Thank you very much to all of you guys that continue to send me well wishes. I've said it a million times. I'll continue to say it again. I have highs and lows. Sometimes I'm smiling and laughing about the all the memories that Greg and I have made together. And then there are times when I'm like, damn, I wish you would bring your ass home. So I have a lot of highs and lows, but uh, keep praying. Um, and thank you. So also I want to say thank you to everybody that continuously loves and support the Lanithia Lounge. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, we're open every day except for Monday. Uh, Friday and Saturday, we're open to 3 a.m. Yes, we have hookahs. Yes, we have fabulous drinks. Yes, we have amazing food. Yes, we are a whole vibe, okay? Yes. So you don't want to miss out on the Lanithia Lounge. Uh, Sunday brunch, 
Everybody knows we have the best Sunday brunch in the city with a live band. Obviously, we have a live band every single day. Every single on Mondays, day. We're closed on Mondays. But we have an amazing live band. For all of you guys that are trying to book your Christmas parties, okay, you can send your email to the Lanithia Lounge or you can send it to book. Nini, N-E-N-E, -E 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 at gmail.com. That's at gmail -K -N -E -N -E at gmail.com. Okay. And uh, we, oh, um, I will forward that email on to the proper person so that you guys can have your holiday parties at the Lanithia Lounge. We're so excited to have you. Uh, and again, thank you guys so much. I also want to touch on an amazing organization that I am a part of called Ladies of Success. Go to ladiesofsuccess.com. Our convention is coming up in Las Vegas. Y'all okay? write this down. November the 11th Vegas. through the 14th. Y'all better write this down. Don't want to miss this. Okay, this organization was formed for women who are eating the fruit of their labor. Entrepreneur women from around the world. We have amazing guest speakers that are there with us the entire weekend. Now, this organization was formed for women who wanted to make friends with other women from around the world, women who wanted to level up with other women from around the world, women who want to go into business with other women from around the world. We have a millennial group that we call our youngins. And then, of course, we have a seasoned beauties, which, you know, are, are our ladies that are 40 and up. Um, seasoned beauties, honey. So you definitely want to be a part of this organization. This is not a fraud organization. We are not one of those women groups that get together and say, girl, I'm going to hold your hand. But really, it's going to be like, girl. I'm going to steal out your hand. So we're not that organization. We're not the organization that is, let's see who can carry the best looking Birkin bag. We're not that organization. Okay. So if you want to be in that organization, you have to go to the other side. We are truly entrepreneurial women who are real girlfriends, who really lift each other up. OK, who are really here for each other, who are really helping each other in their business. We are really trying to educate each other. Some of the women that have met in this organization have been have become fast friends. They're literally with each other out having surgery or having girls trips together and everything. So we're not your typical organization with all the BS. We're really friends from around the world. We have an amazing time when we go to Vegas. We stay in contact with each other all year, all year long. We are, I can't tell you enough about the organization, but I can tell you this. If you are a woman that's looking to level up with other women and have two friendships with women from around the world, make money with women from around the world, get into some amazing products that we have from all of these entrepreneurs. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have entertainers, we have market people who are in real estate. Uh, we have a, a few women who are PR people. Um, we are real friends who are really helping each other. And I want to see you November the 11th through the 14th in Las Vegas. Go to ladiesofsuccess.com. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to meet you. And I won't steal out your hand or show you a fake booty. <laughs> I'll show you a fake Wait, can we? Okay, I got some receipts, okay? I don't know if y'all caught that shade, but she shaded the hell out of somebody. And there is a such thing as a uh, seminar that somebody been putting on called uh, Girl Hold My Hand and another one, honey. Uh, she also sells Nutriburst products and she recruits other people to sell Nutriburst products after her. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I know who you're talking about. Who I'm talking about? I definitely know who you're talking about. They're a coach. The coach? It's the coach. What's the coach's name? Listen. And what she be coaching? Now, I do not know what she be coaching. Okay, that's what I want to know what she be coaching. I do not know. Because the she coach apparently uh, tried to steal her idea. I don't know if y'all saw a few weeks ago, Nene was shading her because she did uh, in her little seminar, the Girl Hold My Hand seminar, she had a uh, pillow talk mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. And Nene felt some kind of way. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I know a lot of people be like, oh, everybody's still for Nene. Nene is just iconic. Everything she says goes viral. And it's like, it's it's fair use because it's for the masses, mm -hmm. right? But you got to think of the proximity of people. Right, right, you right, know? right, right, right. Okay, so if me and you hanging out mm -hmm. and it's something that I say all the time, like I call myself aliens mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden Josh calling his crew aliens, I'd be like, wait a minute, how you calling your crew aliens? It's my crew and we be around each other. That's that's fucked up. You just right. stabbed me in the back. Right. So I say all that to say, this lady be all up in, in Nene's face and stuff. And she was at uh, Greg's memorial. Uh, memorial. I told you she was over there handing out Nutribird samples being Not different. Nutri -verse, yes, child. She was at the at the funeral. Yes. At Wait, Shaman. Listen, I don't know what Shaman she was doing, but she was handing people out CBD oil and everything else. At the Lenithia, at the at the Greg's memorial service, and I was like, "Oh, this so hood." So she was right there, and I just wanted to show y'all. Hold on, y'all know it be having receipts. Hold on, where the picture is? Hold on, y'all know I got a picture of the pictures of today, yesterday. Now I can't find it. This it right here. That's it right there. Hold on, I'm gonna share this screen. I'm gonna share this picture. Okay. And uh, she was sitting right there with her. Right there. Y'all see who's sitting right there? Well, I'll be. Right there. <laughs> well, Rubbing I'll on her be. shoulder. I'll telling be. her everything all right. And she knew all along that she had stole that lady. She was at, at the service. And you know, I got old pillow talk. I forgot about She this. knew she was about to do it because she did it the next day. Not the next day. <laughs> The next day, wait, and then now we didn't even talk about that. You know, she was just there, you know, they cool, they associates, whatever the case may be. She was also remember when I went to uh, Ladies of Success, right? Right, 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 right. <sighs> Guess who was there, child, front and center, trying to look, giving away CBD oil up there, honey. She was, it was another YouTuber there too, trying to kiss her ass and get some, but I ain't gonna even bring them into this. But it was <laughs> this. Okay, y'all remember this? Who is these people? They go Jennifer, they go Sabrina, they go Nene, and they go who is that right now? There's With the her. feathers. That's her. Ain't that Stormy? Oh, at the Pillar Talk? At the Pillar Talk. Now, how you gonna be at the Pillar Talk and go and create your own Pillar Talk and think nobody ain't gonna call you out for stealing? And you pay, people are paying to be there. So it ain't like you, this just, okay, let's have a good old time and have a girl's night and have pillow talk. No, these people were paying you for girl hold my hand and you did not even decide to give any money, any other profits. Girl hold my hand. Girl hold my hand. Did you hold your girl's hand after she lost her husband and she lost, she ain't got no job. <laughs> girl she working at the Lanithia. Did you hold your girl's hand? Or did you like just drop your girl's hand and take her? That's the name of the conference, girl, hold my hand. Girl, hold my hand, child. Who the hell want to hold them girl's hand all day? Apparently, you know, people see her on the Instagrams driving Bentleys and and, and, and written mansions and get these fake Birkins from the flea market and everything. And people think that that is what wealth is and they want to touch it and they want to be there. They want to hold her hand so they can touch the, the money and be a part of it. Oh, but man. I don't, I want to see so remember when Jackie Dineva was uh was speaking that girl hold my hand too. So what oh, no, are they what are that. they teaching these? What are they teaching the women? So it's like uh uh New version of Women That Art Loose Conference. Listen, mm -hmm. all I know is she's selling all this product, all these things, doing our living high, buying all these mansions, allegedly, doing art, listen, doing all these things. But who is rich around her? You know how I am. I want my freedom well, to be rich. Too. You can put us on that. You're going to put us on that. <laughs> that I, let me tell you You're going to put us on. I want my friends to eat. Just like I eat. I want my friends to get fat, even though you ain't getting fat. But I want my friends to eat just like I eat. Like, so who around her is getting rich off her products besides her? And that white man who said that all lives matter. Y'all remember him, but y'all still buy Jack Fallon. That's a whole nother story. Y'all tell me who. So it's who? one of those pyramid schemes. Like, you who? buy 50Ts, you get. Oh, she got Lil TV. Boozy, aka Tasha K, selling the, selling the stuff. I think Storm Moreau was selling the stuff. DJ Rich Sky was selling the stuff. Jackie Dineva was selling the stuff. Who else was selling the stuff? 
think Trina was selling the stuff. Everybody selling the stuff, and they nobody benefited but her. So that's definitely she's a pimp. Pimp. she a pimp. She a pimp. I get it. Listen. She was on Beyond the Pole too. Remember, she, she used to be a stripper and all that. And she came up. She used to sell waist. See, I know too much. Let me shut my mouth. Child. She used to sell waist trainers. Body magic. <laughs> you so remember? You, so you, you drank the tea. You probably don't remember. You drank the tea. You put the waist thing on, and you you, you got the body like they got. She stole. She sold the body magics before the tea. Okay. But then she had some other kind of tea. Okay. And I guess that would get people see. I don't know what had happened allegedly, but then she got into the TLC thing, and then she got had a bigger, broader network. Gotcha. And yeah, I just so if you sell the tea or drink the tea, will you get a Birkin? A cup of tea a day will they get your She'll Birkin? get a Birkin, <laughs> but you won't get no. Birkin. But you won't get no Birkin. Who gonna get the Birkin? Will a sister hold my hand while we sitting on the pillows get your Birkin? Who got? I don't know. We I don't think so. You give her your money to go and listen. The next time I go to a memorial service, I'm going to start selling products. Don't do that. <laughs> be respectful. Be respectful. I'm going to start the, giving out products. Be respectful of the deceased. Yes, the body magic. Body magic was a pyramid too at the time because she got other people to sell body magic under her. And everybody was buying the body magic. You buy the body, body magic from my friend and then you go sell some body magic. You get your network of friends to buy the body magic. And all y'all, you make five dollars, you make five dollars, you make five dollars, she make five million dollars. See, it's a win-win for everybody. <laughs> Listen. So I say all that to say. She just stole this lady thing and didn't even try to cut her no money. Well, I, I had a common decency just because how social media is and how it could look, especially at a time somebody's more sensitive than that they would normally be. Mm -hmm. I would say, listen. Let me call it so many other things than pillow talk, especially if I went to a straight from the A conference. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have another straight from the A conference. Mm -hmm. what? It just don't make sense. Like, what do you, mean? you don't like if you have a conference uh -huh. and you name your conference or you have your master class. Uh -huh. Now I go and do another master class uh -huh. and name it the same thing you did. It's just kind of tacky. Okay. No cool tackiness, tacky. lack creativity, tacky. responsibility, mm -hmm. and sisterhood. It is. Especially if you hanging out with me at my pillow talk. Yeah. And you know where pillow talk came from, all of that. You're right, right, right. And right. you know her issue with Bravo and how she feel like Bravo stole all her catchphrases, all of this, that, and the third. Right. Like, I believe, I think it was Bravo or somebody even um, trademarked pillow talk first. You know, yeah. what happened to being my sister's keeper? I don't know, child. They went I from holding know. my hand and it's, stealing it's your It's about who, who can get the coins first. But listen. I'm or gonna, not first, who can get benefit off your great idea. Speaking of, we can segue that right into uh, Andy Cohen. Well, you know, Andy Cohen is the king of stealing <laughs> the pillows, the talk, and everything else. The pillows. That is the most celebrated white man when it comes to stealing women's ideas, identities, products. He has created his whole lifestyle off of these women's backs. But one thing I can give him credit for, he don't care whether you're white, black, or Latino. He will steal your identity and eat off of you for years. Oh. Well, is that, what, is that what's happening now? That's exactly what's happening. You know, he got he uh collaborated with somebody with a book. Oh. And a lot of the details are coming out. Yes. The, how about, the David Quinn, he used to be a the a, Quinn man. He, he used, used to be, be a producer. A, yes. Well, look, how mm -hmm. about, you know, your people who sent you a cease and desist, your good friends. Who? Oh. KKK Kim. KKK Kim. Kim, mm -hmm. Croy, and the kids. Said she wanted to eat watermelon and chicken with the black. Girl. Right. She did not want yes. to go there and eat chicken and watermelon at that. Deshaun's house. I remember. And she told Candy she needed to paint her stairs black mm -hmm. and good. Her pool was indoors. And she told Candy she needed to need the lock her, she lock her doors. Lock cause door, cause, the ghetto. Yeah, she lived in the ghetto. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. she yeah. also stole the money from Candy. Yeah, and didn't pay up and at all. And, came and then she also time. said that racism didn't exist before social media. Before social media, racism yeah. wasn't that real. Yeah, I remember she said that. Well, you know, Croy, during her last reunion, brought a gun on set. Croy did what? Croy brought a gun to K -K 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 set. Croy? Brought a gun to set. What he got a gun for? Picture this. Oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Let's just say 
Greg Peter Apollo would have brought a gun to set the day of the reunion. Do you know that would have been front page news front and everybody would have been fired that was associated with it? Yes. She was still able to film, so was he, and it was fine. Brooke, a gun on set. And the only thing that I asked him to do was take it back to the car. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. The white privilege of it all. And they still get, let her uh, spin her off. Home. Spin off. Mm-hmm. And it had 20 views. Every season, they finally had to get rid of the dead weight. I, listen, I, listen. Why would Croy bring a gun to the reunion? This, it, it, was it because Kim was feeling threatened by those black girls? Did she even say that? Yeah. That she felt threatened yeah, and, and bullied? That, that Sheree mm-hmm. didn't help her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Roy broom a gun. And y'all think Sheree deserves a peach, honey? Right? Sheree needs to sit her. Gun. This is the season that she said that uh, Nene had roaches. Oh, have you ever seen a house in face with roaches uh, selling for $4 million? Isn't that amazing? Roaches, the prices must Listen, went up. Like Nene said, Brielle must have brought out her funky <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> But how did I'm just I'm just amazed. I know you know George is supposed to be open carry and all that, so it wasn't illegal. But it's just the fact that he brought it into this place of business per se, right? Around all these women, he didn't and, feel safe. Exactly, and apparently, with them with their words, warranted him carrying a gun. He did not feel safe because you when you pull a gun out if you're around a bunch of black people, you don't feel safe. You do not feel safe if you're going to be the only white person on set out this talent. Mm. He didn't feel safe. Wow. He thought he, he needed to bring his gun to protect his wife. I, listen. Could you imagine? Well, he, you know, him and him and KKK Kim already called them the N word, allegedly. But you know, God got a funny way of tapping you behind because now you have to ask for donations on Instagram. So she might want to pawn that gun. Well, I asked for donations too. No, this is different. You just reminded me. Hold on. Let Wait, me well, let me tell you something. <laughs> if you own the Instagram saying anything will help. I say that. And your husband, you, your husband's supposed to have a $20 million I got no NFL. Husband. But pension. me being single make it better. Yeah, and not, not have a $20 million thing. <laughs> Begging and crying, so talking about anything will help. Bed, but she can't be married and be. No, you can't oh, do that. Okay, well, and live in a four million dollar house, supposedly. Well, listen, we knew Croy was racist back when he kicked Sweetie to the curb, but then Kim had already showed who she was when she started acting like Sweetie was her slave. Y'all remember that? Y'all don't when remember Croy came Sweetie? In the picture, uh, Kim hired and got rid of all her black friends. She said, "Y'all got to go." <sighs> about the poor Josh and Little Drake. Let me see what the chat saying. Hold on. Remember, he dropped her off. That was the season she and Candy got into it. I wonder he brought his gun that day. Probably. Ain't no telling. What DL saying? Croy bought a gun, and we hear about it years later. Sounds about white. Yes. Sounds white to me. Sounds about white. I just rewatched that reunion and did not hear one physical threat towards Kim. Not a one. Where is your scooter? That was about. Thing we asked. Now Where we should have asked where is y'all scooter? gun to make sure it ain't on set. Okay. Child, they go, Ooh, that's and statistics crazy. show if anybody out of the whole cast would have been shooting anybody, would have been a Caucasian man, just FYI. And what about all these ladies having something to say about how they didn't feel like they were being treated fairly on set? But every, it's coming out in this book every, that Andy is a part of. Every housewife that they interviewed separately said that they did not feel like they were treated correctly by Andy Cohen. They said he treated them awfully. He did not pay them well. He disrespected them numerous times. And not only that, most of the African-American women felt like they disrespected their men on purpose mm-hmm. and tried to belittle them. Mm-hmm. Peter said it. But that's what that's what they, that, that's what we have allowed this man to get away with. And when one bro- out of all these black women, all these women, period, that felt this way about this man, only one woman was bold enough to stand up and say, this is not right. I ain't putting up with it no more. And that was one lady. Hmm. And she lost her husband. And, she, and she's still standing on her morals. She's like, still standing. I ain't, it ain't changed over here. But Kathy Griffin told y'all that now Kathy Griffin did tell y'all that he offered her coke, he treated her awful, and he stole her ideas. Mm-hmm. In addition to that, watch what happens. Live was supposed to be for Nene. He stole that. He's the only producer or executive that show gets renewed every season. No matter what the ratings are. 
Isn't that amazing? Listen, listen. Isn't that amazing? It, yes. But Nene is a pot of gold, though. Y'all already know her name carry weight. That's why we team Nene over here. I'm always be team Nene. Mm-hmm. I'm always on the winning team. So don't be on the wrong team. Okay. Anywho, um, listen, y'all know look, uh flop soul stole from Nene. Absolutely. That TGIF, they sitting over there acting like that ain't a, a straight woman with two gay men. And that's exactly what Nene was doing. Right. It was one woman and all her gay friends. Or and why they try to make like Nene was a sellout. But what the hell are those other two Nene doing? <laughs> if they felt like the guys who were working with Nene were quote unquote selling out, what the hell are those two men doing? Uh, listen, with a whole colorist. Anyway, I digress. Um, Josh dropping bones. Okay, Team Nene. All right, y'all, Team Nene, Nene. Put your crowns in the chat if you are Team Nene. Okay, uh, Kathy Griffin did tell us, but nobody listened. Nobody, nobody listened. Mm-hmm. She said, "There's an awful man." Okay, well, he stole. And her- listen, my thing is, he acted like he's spilling his own tea. He did get partnered with somebody to spill this dirt, and it ain't even dirt. It's like he's you money approved. Off of you approved this. Yeah. So it's like you standing there like, ha ha, whatever. But you you already knew that. It goes to show good press, bad press, don't matter as long as you being talked about. And most of his shows are failing outside of Housewives of Beverly Hills. New York didn't even film a reunion this year. Mm-hmm. He has one lifeline right now, and that's Beverly Hills. And then they got the other show on Peacock. That's going to flop. <laughs> Who the hell watching Peacock? Peacock? Who is watching Peacock? Cynthia was born on Housewives. You don't think she can be born on Peacock? Listen. Well, I mean, it's just so sad. It's so they want you to elaborate on the Watch What Happens Live. Somebody said that was Nene's idea. No, it was offered to Nene. It was offered to Nene and Andy backdoored her and took it from her. Mm-hmm. The same thing that happened to Kathy Griffin. He took Kathy Griffin New Year's Eve job because she used to host it with uh, Anderson Cooper with CNN. Mm-hmm. He backdoored her and took that job from her. Mm-hmm. So what he's done all these years is lived and stole off of all these women's back. And he's known as the king of media, uh, the king of the housewives and this, that, and the third. There would be no reunion if it was not for Nene. Mm-hmm. Nene got so mad, and y'all know how she get when she get mad, that she wanted com- to confront Kim and all her lies. That's why they had a reunion, because Nene wanted to finally sit down face-to-face with Kim. There would have been no reunion for any other housewives franchise if it was not for Nene. Where's her producer credit? Where is something? And you want to treat and handle her any kind of way. And so she's a loose cannon. But here's a g- caveat. I there's I don't think shit, of, excuse my language, of Candy. Go ahead. Portia, Cynthia, anybody else who knew that in that within that a local franchise in Atlanta to sit there and be a lot allow somebody to treat another sister like that. And y'all go along with them pushing her out, bullying her and stuff like that. Now I might not like you. But as a black man, or as a, I'm not gonna just let somebody else push you over but you, and me collaborate with it. But it, that's what I've been preaching this whole all summer long. But I was pulling the text messages. We had the text messages of Portia up here saying, you know, we want to ask them for a, a stipend for our makeup and for our hair. Candy's like, you sure you want to do that? Aren't they paying us enough already? No, Candy, they're paying you enough already. So, the, but even they ain't even paying her. She's selling herself cheap. Candy's selling, selling herself ice. cheap. She's selling herself <laughs> out. Selling what ice. are you willing to sell your cop out for? What are you willing to sell your legacy for? Mm-hmm. A lot of people think of Candy as a boss. I really think of her as a cousin. <laughs> Who would sell? I, if Just because I'm the only one winning. And I'm making $4 million, but I see them pushing you down and beating you down. I'm next on the totem pole, or my value is not going to go up because I'm allowing them to push you down. Who does that? A real boss can stand up and say, no, I'm not allowing you to treat her that way, and you're going to treat me good. So we both going to get $5 million, and we both going to get EP credit. I tell you what, since we the number one franchise, we want a percentage of every day going gonna franchise that's spent off from Housewives. How about that? Oh, we ain't none of us filming. Okay. Well, you know they did that one season. One season. <laughs> one little season. One season. When one they, little season. When they all partnered, it was Phaedra and all of them, when they all partnered to get Kim out the way because Kim refused to film with the crew. She she said that, you know, everybody should come in her house. She would right. invite everybody to her house to film, and she would not come out of her house to film. And they Bravo was allowing it. So the ladies were like, no, we're not going to do this anymore. It's about us. And not just this one person. They stood together as all brown girls. I don't know if y'all remember this. 
I can't remember what season. No, the first and last time. Ah, right. The first and last time. And uh, instead of firing him, they gave her another spinoff that had 20 viewers. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to sell the dignity of my people so I can sell an extra bowl of gumbo at my restaurant? Or have an extra uh, spinoff with my singing group? Oh, do you think I'm a set of soul of my people? Do you know that's why I race stayed in slavery for over 200 some years? Because somebody sold us a piece of their soul just so they could eat a little better. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Y'all, this is modern day. I do whatever it takes for me to stay on top. Forget who else come behind us. Tap dance. Just let me just tap dance. Mm -hmm. So whether you tap dancing $20 million shoes mm -hmm. or $20 shoes, you still tap dancing. Mm -hmm. And but we talk, I'm a boss. I'm a stage track and a stage key to the many trees. I made <laughs> shrimp grits for my aunt and them. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm me? selling sex toys and guns and bubble butter. <laughs> they blow bubbles up your butt. I'm a boss. I say pray. I mean, you know what you why you say it like that? <laughs> I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. To me, that's not a boss to me. Okay. That, that doesn't give me strength. To me, strength is when you're like, I might lose everything, but I'm not going to sell my soul out for this. Well, I mean, you know, some, some people it's all about. You stand for something or you fall for anything. Well, there it is. Like, what is it? Well, what is it? There it is. Now, she'll get all gangster with JD. I don't want high group name. I'm a bad group name. No, no, no. Hop up, pop up on Andy like that. <laughs> pop up on Andy like that. Tell him you want some credit. And he put, oh, JD. Oh, JD. is am but a B. Forget you, JD. Oh, she'll pop up on a black man. Oh, well, Andy. Yeah, master. Yeah, master. Yeah, master. My mama come in here and act like a fool on TV for you. Yeah, master. Yeah, master. Yeah, master. I'm coming. Yeah, master. I'm coming. Master. Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna chase that girl down the street with a shoe master. Come on, mama. Like, I would never have my mama act like a fool on TV oh, for three dollars and fifty cents. I can't. I'm done. There is no way in the world. But she'll jump off on. Oh, she'll fight Toy and them. The girls in the group, she beating them up. She did. Go, go pop off on Ann and they'll see what's gonna go. What happened? Let's pop off on them. I'm a bow. She said she beat a motherfucker. Remember she? I, I am a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> go try Ann and them, baby. They made your mama she look crazy. Not, she's not gonna do that. They made your mama look crazy. And you better not never say nothing bad about no, my mama. No, no, no. But oh, you can't. Uh, nobody else can sell out, but I can. <laughs> That's what it's giving me. <laughs> nobody else can sell out, but I can. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving to me. Okay. That's what it's giving to me. Oh, block ain't getting me no money. Now you a baby mom. I thought you was a boss. And you don't need no money. You will take care of my child. You will run behind my child. So I thought you was a boss and had all these businesses and money. What you running behind this man for? If he ain't gave you shit since the little girl was two months old, what did you run behind him now? You, you're married. You got to set some businesses. Why are you letting them make your storyline downgrade yourself to a baby mama? You got all these greasy spoons around the city. Because she does not care about the image of a black portrayal, people, portrayal of, of black, black people. Mm -hmm. As long as she can get prayed up and keep her money because she have house. <sighs> all righty. She writes songs. Now y'all be like, Michelle be reading. Michelle be reading. I, I, I ain't the songs. only person that be reading I candy like now. Songs. I Trust like me songs. and believe the whole Atlanta. The whole Atlanta feel the same way about them. <laughs> They'll come to a cracker open long they can take a picture. <laughs> No, they can take a picture. It's your girl candy. Hey, it's your girl candy. It's the treble. It's the treble. I know. I'm really feel some kind of way. I'm really getting We done messed up all our stories now, child. We done went from Andy Cohen to candy, honey. It just all spins together. Soup. It's just a whole big spoon. It really does. But it go back to Coach Stormy. I wouldn't do my sister or my brother like that. I can be a creative person, come up with something else. Then hold my hand down well, to the, the pillow hold top. my hand what wasn't even a to problem. the pillow top. Hold my hand down to the pillow top. Right. I wouldn't steal for my sister. It goes to what we we are beating each other down for a Birkin a, bag. A, a What's check. a Birkin bag? A check? What's that? Yeah. If you're really bad and you're real, a real boss, you'll be creative on your own morals. And so, like, okay, she did pillow talk. I'm like, Mimi, girl, 
And this one, and here's the thing. Well, she could have, she could have invited Nene. Nene could be, it could have been like co-star right. Nene. I was or... like, look, girl, you know I'm kind of these girls. This is our comedy. It's a look, girl. Look, <laughs> this look, 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 like, look, I'm calling. Kind of, look, I know Greg is sad. I know you emotionally feeling. Look, uh-huh. I'm about to run a set on these girls. I'm about to con them. I've been con the girls for okay. a long time. So look, okay, I'm gonna on. give you 25 percent. Okay. Of what this con gonna be? Okay. You might get 50, 60 G's. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna con this girl. I'm gonna call it pillow talk. Okay. I'm gonna let them know that you originated. You inspired me, girl. All right. So come down here, run, get this check. We gonna have have these girls come down here, hold her hands, and we gonna cry. Okay, and stuff we gonna like split this. it. We gonna split okay, it. Okay. We gonna do that. I'm look my pick first class. I'm get a nice little suite, water view, okay, and everything like that. Okay. And have everything in the room for you. Oh. And then. We'll pull it to Atlanta, and then we'll have an after party at the Legion Lounge. Okay. So you'll get doubles. I got you. You good? I'm good. All right. All right. Somebody said Nene was invited. Wait, there's a difference between being invited and getting a part of your what and you getting created. a part of the proceeds, right? From what you created. <laughs> you ain't gonna invite me to something and you getting a million dollars and right. I'm sitting there for free as a guest, right? And you give me a free drinks right. and a cookie. And no, I, and I was like, girl, I'm gonna give you a, a, a lifetime supply of this uh, water <laughs> that I'm selling. Uh, this, uh, this fake Nutriverse. Yeah, this Nutriverse. Girl, look, okay. it's, it tastes like uh, applesauce, but look. At, look, don't no, drink, don't, don't drink you know, it. Like look, sauce. whatever. I got you, girl. Okay. Flip it. That's it. Okay. That's all you do. That's all you, have to That's do. All you gotta do. I get it. Nene didn't invent, invent the word talk or pillow. Okay. But you can leave, give it to the girl. Get a girl. But you standing there with her while right. she was at the oh, pillow Lord. talk. Greg gonna be all right, girl. Oh Lord, it's all right. Uh, don't do that. Ah, it's too much. It's too much. But see, you got to be petted with people like that. You know what I'd have done? What you want to do? I said, girl, I saw you have the a thing. Send the address. I might be there. And I'd have called the fire marshal. I said, <laughs> the fire marshal. I said, oh, honey, <laughs> they not following the COVID code. I'd have called the CDC and the fire marshal. <gasps> I said, and my aunt just passed from the COVID. Uh, y'all had to go there and look a couple of months we have coffee. Oh my god, I'm here. They coffee. It ain't no mask. Ain't nobody washing their hands. Uh, you need to come down. Here. Wait, the the limit said it's only supposed to be seventy five people. It's two hundred fifty <gasps> people here. Okay, y'all on y'all way. Yeah, cause I'm trying to get a headache. So I'm gonna go to the doctor. <sighs> you know, you that's how you fix somebody. Okay. When somebody do you in, you gotta fix them. Don't get on social media and play with them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna wait till I'm mm-hmm. right on out and pass out my flies to mm-hmm. my pillow top. Come to Vegas, we have ample rooms. Oh, yes. come to the convention center. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I call the CDC on her uh, Nutribirth and tell them that it gave me worms. That's how you fix her. Well, you gotta that, fix her. Well, the gag is. That um that Nutriverse stuff is it the Nutriverse or the CBD oil that's sponsored by Nutriverse whatever it's stopping people from getting jobs. People are getting drug tested and they test them positive for the other stuff. Oh, I tell you what I do. I get me a car and bag it down a ditch. I rub some of that cream on me and I lost conscious. <laughs> Oh, I fix. Oh, you wouldn't be selling no CBD, <laughs> no ABC, or DFG. Oh, I fix you, buddy. I ran my car right okay. into the car. I put that cream on. Her. Oh, <laughs> and they oh, said oh, your name is Josh Karen Superstar. Oh, Josh is a Karen. Oh, and, oh, don't put me no ambulance. Airlift me to the hospital. Ooh. And I'm going to go live with my tubes up my nose and everything. Y'all, please don't use this all because they're going to hurt me. Uh, it's a it's a depressant and I was gonna hurt myself. That's what you do. You got to play your hands if dealt. Look, DL said somebody said neutral birds made their throat swell up. Oh, well, you needed to report it. Oh, I can't wait till the day they start taking down these channels, honey, that's advertising. All oh, stuff, I fixed them. I fixed them. So oh, I fixed them. What? Oh, I fixed Miss uh what her name is, Coach Storm. Oh, she'd be a coach, all right. Oh, she'd be coaching. Okay, we're going to move on. Okay, now what's the next Listen, topic? Listen, um, the views and opinions expressed by Joshua, <laughs> just a superstar, does not reflect the views. Well, sometimes they do, though. Now, who's lie. the next person on the list? I don't even remember. We was going to talk about uh, Peter, Peter and Paula having a party tomorrow. Oh, yes. You ever been on uh, probation? No. Oh, baby, I've been on probation before, and it's not for me. Oh, you got to be in by a certain time. Look, when that light hit, it's like, okay, I got to go. You've been on probation. Oh, what you was on probation for? Oh, uh, aggravated assault. I don't. You mean that No, you mean that time I was in jail for six days? I don't know. Please. When you, you came and picked me up. I, no, I, I will <laughs> not. I do not know nothing. But anyway, um, you can't go around a certain amount of people 
or like, or, or that particular person got a restraining order when I had a restraining order against him. But uh-huh. uh, he, he ain't got no restraining order against him. But you have to be in by a certain time. Uh-huh. So, a uh, baby, I could be down to the bar. Mm-hmm. And when that shit hit, I had to scoot right on cross town. I would leave my door unlocked just in case I needed that extra second to get into the house. So that's why Apollo had left early that night. We that were... night we was down to the posture. And I was when I said, where's Apollo going? And his wife's still here. I was so puzzled. I said, where is he? You remember I asked you? You just started rumors. I don't start it. Rumors. He must got another woman. I said, must got another woman. He got a few kids. I said, Pedro, you know, I'm real nervous. I said, what's going on? I, you know, I go ask Peter. Peter don't say nothing. He just laughing. You telling me to shut up and mind my business. It's not your business. It's not your business. But they're not getting no $25 out of me. You better text me to tell her put me on the list. I'm not putting no $25. Of course, I got to be on the list. Put me up there, too. I know you in there. I'm not paying them no $25. But can we talk about this freedom? Everybody keep wondering what the freedom is. He was in the halfway house. I know, I know that. Oh. People act like they don't know what that means. When you got a some around your ankle, when you got to be where you supposed to be, right? Time. And he is off now. He's free to travel. Do he get it cut off tomorrow at a certain time, or does he? Is it already off now? I think it's off. It, listen, I don't know. I think it's off now. I'm gonna say next time, mom. So let me see ankle. He did have some long pants. It was hot out there. To think about it, it was hot out there. We going to the party. Y'all going to the party. We going to the party. Y'all better come come to the party. I need an Uber. It's twenty five dollars. Y'all better come to the party. I'm gonna be at the party. And Apollo and Peter better let me sit in their section. Oh, I love <laughs> sitting Apollo and Peter. So I'm gonna drink up all that shit. Lord, they I better don't... let me sit in their section. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on and I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna say that party was shit. No, they... I'm, I'm gonna just call Faye. Don't say, girl, come on up here. Who's gonna call Faye? I'm gonna call Faye. No, where is Faye? I'm gonna say, Bun, come get him. Uh-uh. And the face you said at the time, bud, you better come get. Yeah, he said bud. Ooh, well, we know from this. So we say that's the patriotic. Oh. The bun. No, the bun, the other part. I know. The who bun is. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. I'm, 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 so I, is he I, going I, to I, get I, the key? I don't need, need to ask Fedra that. You need to go ask Fedra, okay? It does not cost the park. I'm like, why y'all where y'all get that from? It is and whoever said that, they must have came on the wrong night. Oh, they can charge me the park. They won't get it. <laughs> That's what I tell them. I said, oh, baby, I ain't got no cash on me. I'm going to pay you on the way out. As soon as you get in your car, you just pull right on off. They're like, hey, hey, hey. I have never I been paid. charged the park. I, I, I drove the first time we went, mm-hmm. and I ain't paid. The second time, I ain't paid. You but, saying you didn't pay, but I'm just saying they didn't charge general, me. But, no, they didn't charge me. Yeah, so I don't understand who, who is charging. But them, the people try to charge me all the time. I said, "Baby, I'm gonna get you on the way out. I ain't got no cash on. I'm gonna stop at the ATM. I'm gonna, uh, on the way out. They got an ATM on the inside. They're like, yeah, so I'm gonna get you. What's your name? They like, my name Robert. So I got you, Rob. Come look for me when I'm on my Listen, way out. Listen, this Atlanta, it costs to park everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere you go, it's gonna cost. To and park. I asked for a park up front, so I take a six dollar park. Put me up front, okay. and I come right. I said, I paid that boy. Uh uh-uh, uh I paid him. Where he at? The little short one. Yeah, the little brown one. I paid him. <laughs> and why they try to look for whoever I'm talking about? I hit it. Well, we going to the Lanithia tomorrow night. And we're going to turn up. So, I don't know. Y'all can come. Y'all can not. I will have a bodyguard. Okay. We nucking. We bucking. I will tomorrow. have a bodyguard. <laughs> y'all don't come up there and fight. It's because we celebrating Apollo's freedom. We ain't trying to get him locked up again now. So, but should we, we go? <laughs> the fans might be watching. We might need to miss out on this. Because what if they think we got compasses or something from what he did before? I don't know if I need he to go. Serve his time. Us. They could try to put us into it. The fans. Well, have talking. you done anything wrong? Well, that's why I'm talking about. <laughs> maybe I should go. Oh, Lord. I can't. <laughs> Is Ben where to go? I don't know. Justin don't be wanting to hang out with us. He think we bad influences. You think? Why are you drinking all this alcohol? I make sure I don't want to waste no wine over here. <sighs> you don't waste no wine at a nice house like this. You drink all that up. You got the she got her stuff from two thousand and one and stuff. Y'all brought me those glasses when y'all toasted my house. Oh yeah, yeah. I won't take this one. I already <laughs> gave it to you. <laughs> you was gonna steal my life. Like, I like that glass. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, that's all. Listen, I, what, what else we had on the agenda today? Wasn't that it? The Freedom Party. Who am I going? The Freedom Party, the um, Nene Shade and Coach Stormy, um, Andy Cohen, Andy Cohen, Croy with a gun. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure some more. 
y'all want to call in, let me know. Press one if y'all want to call in. If not, um, I'm going to go over to Patreon and we got some more stuff to talk about on Patreon. On Patreon, we're going to drag some people tonight. Patreon after dark, y'all need to hang around. Okay. Are you going to stay? Yeah. You sure you, you got something to do? No, baby. You've been here all day. You ain't you sure you ain't got nowhere to go? <laughs> <laughs> I do, but I don't start till later on. Oh, later on. Later on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Something wrong with your sound. Can't hear you and Josh. Press one if y'all can hear me. Y'all can't hear me. We've been on for 49 minutes and you telling me y'all cannot hear me. Press one if y'all can hear me. I don't know. Break channel. I'm ready. Let me know if it's a problem with the sound. Press two. Well, clearly it's only on your end. Maybe you need to refresh. Refresh the people saying one. The people saying one. Click link to join. And come on. Um, should they be on camera? Or are we opening to open the church to everybody today? Oh, I don't care. I don't own this church, so. Oh well. I stay <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna pin it. <sighs> well, um uh be nice, call in. Um, please keep it on topic, okay? Please keep it on topic. People say I'm gonna start a timer, two minutes of call. And we're gonna go on Patreon next, <clears throat> okay? We're gonna take a few calls, just a few. The doors of the church are open. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Okay. Um, you said stop using rental center Wi-Fi. Michelle's live is fine. Okay, Rashad, you better tell her why they be always trying to, you know, I be uh in my feelings every time I freeze up. They listen, they be trying to try me so I can stop so we don't be laughing and stuff. They don't like us to have good, a good time. Hold on, wait, let me make it big too. Too okay. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Hey, how are y'all doing? First of all, I want to say, Michelle, I love you. And Josh, I think you cool as hell. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Josh ain't cool, though. Oh, okay. Well, no, he all right. He all right. I like Josh. Okay. But you know what, Croy? That's a racist motherfucker, just like Kim. He got a gun with six bullets, and every one of them say, nigga, 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 nigga. I can occur to that. And you know, and, and you know, in it's, word, it's, in it's, word, in word, in word, in word. Some words we ain't gonna. Oh, okay, I can't it's say that. It's I won't say it no more. I won't say it no more. Um, you know what? An alligator should eat him up, Not or a alligator. snake should swallow him whole. Okay, I'm fine. And I ain't saying Kim Zodiac neither. We already know that KKK Kim got an issue. So I mean, yeah, she do got an issue. But my thing is, she claims she ain't got cancer, or she did have cancer. Why you wearing wigs? Why you want to wear our black women crowns? But ain't nothing wrong with you. Like y'all said, where is your scooter? Ain't that wrong with that bitch? Okay. What you think, Gus? I think Kim is a disaster. She always has been. Okay. And she, and she possessed with Nene, and I wish Nene would stop giving her times to give get attention and stop being her friend because she's poison she's a camera she's a kid she's a cow all in one okay where you from trap north carolina i ain't i'm not too far from y'all what part eastern north carolina eastern what you giving greenville what you giving i'm not far from greenville well, I ain't gonna give my location, but i ain't far from greenville you know, Josh you is from North go. Carolina. You must got some family down here. I'm from North Carolina. Oh, okay. So That's what's up. To you had, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like that. Mm. I just wanted to see. <laughs> you know, we have a similar accent. That's why I was like, where's she from? Yeah, I'm definitely real country. I can't help it. Like, I tried to change my accent before. When I tried that, like I was from New York, that shit failed miserably. <laughs> you tried to talk. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I appreciate you calling in, Trav. Thank you. Um, I will call again and again, but I just want to tell y'all, I think y'all are a great duo, and I love the chat family and Thank both of y'all. Y'all are very cool and down to earth. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you so much. 
No problem. Have a good one. You too. Hold on. Kriya Knox. Kriya Knox. Hello. Hi, Michelle. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, so what you like to talk about tonight? Well, I'm want to talk about Nini's about to be vindicated because okay. they're speaking out against Andy now. The bricks are falling down. They falling down on his head. Mm -hmm. Even um the girl from Potomac is uh talking out against him. Uh, Candy, mm -hmm. did you see that? Uh uh, what did what he what she say? She said that um she told Andy you don't she uh that you can't tell her what to do and all this other kind of stuff like that. Carol um Carol said that Andy's been making money off of um <laughs> off of her backs. And Candace was saying that Andy made money for himself and his kid, his child, and all kind of stuff. Yeah, they all out now. So Nini's about to be vindicated. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't wait till it happens. I just want yeah. to sit back, watch, sip my tea, and just yeah, you it's know me. I'm talking about everything housewives and housewives adjacent. Right. Well, the ladies from the white lady from New York is coming out saying something, and uh, Candace from Potomac is coming out. Ooh. You're right. You're right. And that white lady who said something, name is Carol Razziwell. Yes, she was saying that. Was the sister, of the cousin to John F. Kennedy, who mm -hmm. passed. So she ain't got no reason to lie. And she married a prince, a real life prince. Ooh. So her name really is Princess Carol Razziwell. And then, so she ain't got no reason to lie. And then Andy kind of say he, he made her and she was like, no, um, I made you. Don't get it twisted. And those were her exact words. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. See, y'all make me want to read the book. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's been awful for years. They got it on audio book or something. I know. I, know. I, I want it on audio. I'm not about to sit there and read it. You said he's been awful for years. He's been awful. Andy has been awful for years. Yes, and, and I used to like Andy, but it's coming all out. He a low down uh white man with some gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you, Kriya. Thank you for calling in tonight. Where you calling from? Um, Atlanta. Okay, shout out to the A. What's up, A in the house? You coming to the Lanethia? I will be in Miami at the Falcons game. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. Okay. Must be nice. Go Falcons. I hope they win a game. Oh, yes. Don't do that. Listen, I'm a Falcons fan, honey. 30 years, honey. Always. I've been there. I okay. used to be a season ticket holder, but not this year. Okay. About to buy a season house. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford them no more. I got other things. But yes, yeah. Ooh, have a good time. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hold on. You said uh, I don't go lie. I didn't dust the pledge. <laughs> what? <laughs> we we are not gonna look at your dusty house. You can turn off the camera if you want. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what's in the dark will come to light. Trust and believe that you got somebody that said they've been right. reading. Whoever said they've been reading the book, call in. You ain't got to show your face. I want to see what it said. What Who the book said say? It? Somebody mm -hmm. said they've been reading the book. Tell them to call in. If you've been reading the book, if you read the book, call in. I want some tea. You saw on the, uh, the Instagram page, they had like excerpts. From it. No, really. I, I got to see it. I, I want the book. No, dirty birds, honey. We that rise up, rise up, rise <laughs> up, rise up. Okay. Uh, if y'all not gonna call in, I'm just gonna head on over to the Patreon um to continue this after party because you know we're gonna get low down and dirty over there and just talk about people because that's how we do. Uh patreon.com. I am a TLM. So come on over to Patreon. If you are not Patreon members, put uh a, a, a five in the chat, just a five. I just want to see. What y'all looking like if the Patreon members are in here? The book is on Kindle. Okay. Uh-uh, Miss Jack. You ain't going to do that, Miss Jack. Uh-uh. We ATLians around here, honey. Hey, Paul. You said, let's go. What's the name of the book? What's the name of the book again? <clears throat> not All Diamonds and Rosé, I think. Yeah, Not <laughs> All Diamonds and Rosé. Look at all them Patreon members. No long breaks. I gonna, I'm not going to take no break. I'm not going to give me a glass of wine. But that's it. I am not going to take no long break. I'm going to sit right here. Look at all the Patreon members. I can't believe all these people. All these people is not in Patreon. Now, all these people are not in Patreon. Y'all, some of y'all telling the lie. Some of y'all telling the story. Because y'all know I ain't got for like 20 people over there now. 
<laughs> It'll be like a hundred people in the Patreon chat. So you know how all these people, it's 1783 in here. And all y'all putting up five, somebody's telling a lie. <laughs> Somebody telling a story, but that's okay. That's okay. You, we we accept all new members. So come on mm -hmm. over to Patreon, and uh, we gonna um, what what, what we gonna talk about? I had to come and see. No, but we gotta, you know, at least. What is that? <laughs> Why you sitting down and doing that? What does that mean? <sighs> Mm, what are we gonna talk about? Oh, we said we we're gonna dig into. Uh, we, what were we talking about earlier? Who Bun was? Oh, who Bun? Okay, and oh wait, somebody <clears throat> lying. Hold on. He said it's not a lie. I believe you. I believe y'all. I believe. Hold on, Barbara. You're echoing. Oh Lord. And you in the dark. Okay, if y'all call in. Please make sure your other devices are off, okay? It just, you know, it, it makes for a smoother show and I can hear you and you can hear me and everybody don't have to hear us echoing, okay? Please, please, please. Okay, anywho, we've been on the hour 100. We're going over to the Patreon. Look, you said you want to become a Patreon member. You better. This The link is in the description box, patreon.com. I am AT Alien. Yes, you can come. It's open to all. Lip smacking. Why I don't have the lips? I can lip smack if I want. Why are you so mad, Esther? Esther, what are you mad about? What? Esther is sensitive, okay? <laughs> is you mad because you can't get four people in your live and you don't smack? I don't understand. Let me let me smack my lips if I want to. Um, oh, wait, I thought it was who wasn't. Don't mm. count my see. I knew some of y'all was telling the story, but that's okay. Come on in, come on in. Money well, come cannot on tonight. Buy class. Come on tonight. Yes, patreon.com. I am ATL. Uh, I'm about to uh kick the link, okay. So uh, come on over. We're going to end this stream. We're going to start the ATL after dark, honey, after dark. And come on over. And um, yeah, you said keep smacking your lips. I do it all the time. I do it all the time, too, especially when the gossip get juicy. you like, girl, you know what had happened? And then, okay, because I'm from Atlanta. So, you know, occasionally I do it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if it gets on your nerves, okay? But it's just me. I'm just a ghetto girl who likes to smack my lips, okay? Just call me what you want to, okay? Anywho, uh, well, be in the chat because you come on late sometimes and Dre too protective. What? Hold on. Why y'all keep sliding on here? Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. What's she doing? Did you see her? I saw her too. What happened? Did she put the phone down? No, no. Oh, okay, Sharon. I guess when you wanted us to see you, it's too much. It's too much. Okay. You on Patreon now? Yes, I'm going over to Patreon now. Give me three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. See y'all over there. Oh, if you're just getting here, please go ahead and like this video um, and uh, share it, subscribe, all of that jazz. And uh, leave your comment down below. Let us know what you think about this topic. And Josh, shut up. Why you be looking so short next to me? Why? That's all it is. I don't know why I feel like that. I don't understand. I'm sure. We got to get you another chair. We got to sit somewhere we on the even play field. Let's go. We'll move. We'll, we'll move to the dining room. Yeah, we'll move to the dining room. Okay. We're going to move to a new location for uh, the after dark. But we'll see you over there in about uh, three or four minutes. Okay? Can't you pay my bills? Can't pay my telephone bills? Can't pay my automobile? If you can't, baby, look at you. I don't think you do. So you and me are through. Good night.